Well, Thailand has shut down a news website over its coverage of anti-government protests. It's the latest move to clamp down on media, which the government says is stoking the flames of unrest. Protesters had threatened to take action this evening, but instead they have held flash mobs in parts of Bangkok. Now, they say that they will regroup tomorrow. A widening crackdown on media as protests escalate across Bangkok. A day after announcing restrictions on the messaging app Telegram, a Thai court has suspended local online news site Voice TV. It says it has violated emergency measures by uploading false information and is a threat to national security. Voice TV is owned in part by the family of former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat and his sister Yingluck, who was overthrown in the 2014 coup. At least three other media organisations are under investigation. Thailand's protest movement has gained momentum since the government announced a ban on large gatherings last week. Protesters, many of them students, want Prime Minister Prayut chan to resign. But he insists he will not quit in the face of pressure. With no sign of a compromise in sight, Parliament will meet for an extraordinary session next week to debate the protests.